what is up you guys and welcome to my channel my name is Jessica um, I'm a mother as well as a makeup lover um, so for today's video I really as you can see by the title um, I really wanted to do a first impressions tutorial review on the new P Louise all about the signs palette um, I do have a couple of things to say before we jump in the, the color story in this palette really really spoke to me so I am really happy that I um, picked it up here's Here's what the inside looks like in case you guys have not seen it yet. I'm not going to be doing swatches or anything like that just because I feel like I'm not very good at doing swatches. Like I feel like my swatch videos are kind of boring, you know what I mean? Like I watch some swatch videos and I'm like wow this is so interesting. But like when I do it I'm like wow I'm freaking bored. So with that being said there's not going to be swatches but I am going to be doing this tutorial for you guys on my eyes which I think came out... Mmm! I do want to say, so, I recently just learned that P. Louise is actually discontinuing all of her palettes. So, as being someone who does tutorials on YouTube, you know, I try to, obviously, um, I'm not rich, I don't get PR, like, I'm just a regular, schmegular mom who loves doing makeup, and people always ask me, like, wow, how do you do that? So that's why I do my YouTube videos, my tutorials, that's why I started my channel, was because people had asked me. You know, how do you do that? So, with that being said, with P. Louise discontinuing all of her palettes, I literally own every single palette except for, like, the mini ones and the little sandwich palette. I own all of P. Louise's palettes. So, the fact that she's discontinuing them, a large portion of my eyeshadow collection in another... So, she said December is when she's, like, no longer going to be, like, having them. So... After December, basically, if you don't already have these palettes, then basically my content is going to be kind of irrelevant. Because unless you could find these colors in other palettes, which I don't think a lot of people would like to do, you know, you're not going to be able to recreate my stuff. And, oh man, that, that, that sucks. That's, that's disappointing, you know. So I guess we'll see where that leaves me in the future with P. Louise, but I don't think I'm going to be continuing to purchase her palettes because I don't want my content to be irrelevant. I don't want to spend, I spent $55 on this palette and, and after December nobody's going to be able to get their hands on it and so nobody's going to be watching my tutorials for this palette. So that's just so disappointing. I know it's like, I don't want to rant too much. I just really wanted to let that be known on my channel and let, just let you guys know so that way if you did want any of these P. Louise palettes that I, I'm constantly reviewing and doing videos on, you gotta get them now because they're gonna be gone. <sighs> so with that rant over, um, if you want to see me put this beautiful, beautiful palette to use and create this stunning look since we're just doing the, since this is going to be a um, first impression review, I am just going to be doing the eyes today. So if you guys want to do the eyes with me, see how I created this beautiful look, see how this palette performs, see if maybe you want to get your hands on it, then you already know what to do. Please just keep on watching. Starting off as always, priming with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number Two. First, I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Get Paid. And I'm just gonna take this on a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name, it just came in a set that I actually received from my BoxyCharm. And I'm just going to start applying this in little circle motions. And I'm going to keep this nice and round like this. So I don't want to take this too high because obviously I want to keep space to blend. So I'm just going to leave it right there. And just going in with the exact same brush. I'm going to take this shade right here which is called 888. And honestly this color. Oh, my 
favorite color I think out of this whole palette it is like these corals like pinks oh, that's so pretty so I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with this one just going right into little circle motions I'm gonna go right on the edge of the first color that we did and I'm gonna try not to blend it too far up like I said because you know we need to keep space for the rest of our colors Next, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Talk the Talk. I'm gonna take it on an even more fluffy brush. Um, this is a DB5 brush, so it's actually really fluffy. And I'm just gonna buff this right out. Still keeping just a smidge of space, because I'm gonna go in with a yellow. Just a little bit, though. look at that effortless blend I love the variety like all the varieties of yellow in here I love it so I'm gonna take this one which is called vision because I didn't really want to go for the pastel which is the lightest yellow just wanted a little little something something yellow you know what I mean I'm just gonna go right over that last shade that we just did like that and then I'm gonna go in with the shade then I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade which is called 1111 and I'm gonna deepen this up and then I'm gonna go through all my colors again just to perfect the blend because you'll see it's gonna be a little bit not great so then I'm gonna go, go through all the colors again until they're as perfectly seamless as this side Now I'm going to take some Vaseline and I'm going to go ahead and cut out my crease. I'm just going to take this on a Makeup Shack T37 brush, the Vaseline. So I'm trying to keep this as low as this side. Next, I'm going to take my P. Louise Crisp Finish, and this one is in Tangy Tees. Then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Money Fest. I really love all of the, um, like, prints that, that she put into these. I think they're really cute. And I'm going to set this down. Alright, now I'm going to take more Vaseline, and I'm going to cut this out once again. I'm going to take more of my P. Louise base, but just in the shade 2, just my regular, regular schmegula base. Okay, so now I'm going to take all of the shades that I used on top, and I'm going to pack them, um, I'm going to pack them on my lid, starting from the darkest to the lightest.
Alrighty, so now we remove the tape and we got a nice little thing going here. And then I'm gonna take some more of the crisp finish in Tangy Tees and I'm gonna connect it under here. real motherfucking handsy right now um so i'm gonna do my face makeup and then we can come back and do under the eyes because this is going to be just the eyeshadow review i'm gonna skip my base makeup today my son's getting handy but for lashes so these are the ioni wispy cat eye lashes the um the the Dia de los Muertos set, I guess. Um, I think these are just called Wispy Cat Eye. So these are the lashes I'm going to go in with. Um, I'm not going to put those on just yet, though. I'm going to finish up under my eyes, which I think we already know what I'm going to do. Bring it around town. So I'm going to start with the shade 111, which is the dark brown. And I'm just going to apply this all under here. I'm going to take the shade Get Paid, which is the first shade we used. Buff that out. And then I'm going to take the shade 888, which is like this pretty coral color. I'm just going to lightly dust that. I'm going to wipe this brush off. I'm just going to go straight into the yellow. I don't really have too much room under my eye to continuously blend. So we're just going to skip a step. I'm going to take this crisp finish base and I'm going to put this in my waterline. Okay, so here is the completed look. My lip combo in case anybody is wondering. Um, this is the NYX Suede Lip Liner in Alabama. And then I went in with my Dose of Color Lippy in Flirty right in the middle. And then for the gloss on top, this is the Vintage by Jessica uh, Gloss. I don't think it has a name on it. Sparkling Lip Gloss in Pink Sequin. Pink, Pink Sequin. In case anybody was wondering, that's the lip combo that I'm wearing. And I love it. What, also, what do we? how do we feel about the, the little like pigtail moment? I feel like it's kind of cute, but also could border on like kind of like kiddish, which I'm like kind of like eh about. But eh. anyways, um, so my final thoughts and opinions on the P. Louise All About the Signs palette is very pigmented. It is very buttery, blendable, just like all of P. Louise's other palettes. Um, very very big packaging um i'm actually very impressed by the quality the colors really just spoke to me i really really love like colors like these so in my personal opinion if you really like these colors i think that this would be an excellent addition to your collection as i was saying in the it's kind of a little bit you know like a bittersweet thing because um eventually you're not gonna be able to get it so that sucks for like future in my channel like when I'm using this not everybody will be able to like get their hands on it which I think is kind of shitty you know but I'm really glad that I do have this palette it is definitely unique in my collection even though it's more like nudes the um, the whole like just like the whole row ooh, excuse my sweatpants <laughs> Um, just like the whole row of the yellows, like all the different shades of yellows, I really, really love that. This whole bottom row of like the peaches and the corals, oh, so pretty. And the shimmers in this are next level, like better than any of her other palette shimmers. Definitely this one, the shimmers in it are amazing, like phenomenal. So I would have to say I do I do recommend this palette. I do really, really like it. And I'm really happy that it is in my collection. Um, so definitely you guys should pick it up while you can because like i said she is discontinuing all of her palettes so 
with that being said that is going to conclude today's video tutorial first impressions and review um i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial definitely don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos and without further ado we're gonna go on ahead and roll the clip <laughs>